guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial today, it's on Creative Gates. So I thought I'd better cover this plugin as I mentioned it in my 10 best plugins for 2016. And it's a really cool plugin if you haven't heard of it. It allows you to create awesome portals with only using a clock, you don't have to use any commands at all. So as you can see here, we have four portals and they are all linked. So if I go through one, I should pop out at the one at the end see that uh, yes I did and if I go through this one I'll pop out on this one and then if I go through this one I'll pop out uh, on number two which is really cool so they're in a little network with each other and what we can do um, using these three items the blaze powder this will show us information about the portal so if we go to the blaze rod this is very useful you can disable whether players can enter and exit a uh, portal so if you right click for the first time, both will be disabled and the portal is effectively useless. Nothing will happen. If you right click it again, you will be able to enter the portal, like so. However, if we go to portal number 4, we won't go to 3, we'll go straight to 2, because it's disabled obviously. Right click again and enter is disabled this time, but exit is obviously enabled, so that will still work. And then right click it one more time and they will both be re-enabled. So that is really useful that you can do that. Uh, I'm going to do it for both of these. So you can enter both of the middle ones. However, you can only uh, be teleported to the end ones, which may be useful for uh, spawns or something like that. Uh, and then we have the magma cream, which um, you can set anyone or only you to be able to read um, things about the gate. So that is uh, the majority of the plugin. In the config file you can change the portal block to water if you really want to. But let's go ahead and create a brand new portal. See those red ones over there? That's what we're going to use. So pop your clock into the anvil. Make sure you have multiple of them as it does get used up each time you create a portal. So let's just call it portal 2. There we go. And we have three uh, clocks called portal 2. Now the only thing you need in uh, a portal is obviously a frame and two emerald blocks which is very important. Right click and it will be created. You will lose a clock but you will have a portal. You obviously need to create at least one more for it to work. And as you can see they can really be any shape or size which is fantastic. So um, now we have another network so if I go through these we will uh, pop out at each side. And I could even fly over to this one and um, add this to the network as well. And maybe we don't want to be able to exit from this one. So uh, we will go straight to the big one if we go through the one at the end. There we go. So that is the plugin. It's free to download. It's by the guys who made Massive Lag, Vampire and some other really cool plugins. Uh, I would recommend it 100%, which is why it was in my top 10 plugins of 2016. It's just so easy to use, um, as long as you use emerald blocks. But other than that, subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you next time.